A last chorus for your ears only. I'm David Alpern. And I'm Mark Garber with this quote from the news. Trivia in triplicate. That's what the writer Bell Kaufman called the fictionalized public school memos that helped make her debut novel Up the Down Staircase so hilarious and successful. A granddaughter of the Yiddish writer Shalom Aleichem, or Fiddler on the Roof fame, Kaufman died last week at age 103. Now this. So this is finally love. So this is what I spent my whole life searching for. Someone I could call my home. Someone who is always there. A light in the dark. A welcoming heart. When Love Grows Up is one of several songs of age and wisdom on the new CD Think of Me by award-winning stage and screen performer George Ball, known for uh, on and off Broadway roles in Sweeney Todd, Jacques Brel is Alive and Well and Living in Paris, among other shows, and TV series including General Hospital and Santa Barbara. His first solo release, Think of Me, is also something of a family affair. Words and music for When Love Grows Up were written by his singer-songwriter wife of 43 years, former guest Amanda McBroom, who also supplies backup vocal on another track. The CD itself was co-produced by McBroom's frequent concert and cabaret musical director, Michelle Brewerman, who also provided arrangements, piano and keyboard. Ball, Brewerman, and McBroom appear this week at the Catalina Jazz Club in Hollywood, then again on October 8th and 14th at the 54 Below Supper Club in New York City. And to talk more about how it all came together after so many years, George Ball and Amanda McBroom are on the line now. Welcome to our show. Thank you. George, where did you grow up, and how did you first get into acting and singing? I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I was a singer from uh, from the time I was a little kid, but... Um, I got interested in the theater when I was in high school and, uh, you know, I got the lead in the class musical and so on and so forth. And then I became involved in the, in the Pittsburgh, uh, entertainment scene. And, uh, one day someone called me and said, uh, the Playhouse, Pittsburgh Playhouse, which was pretty famous at that time, was looking for someone to play Miles Gloriosus and a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. So that was my first professional job. I know from an earlier interview with Amanda that she uh, also appeared in a production of Jacques Brel. Is that where you met? Uh, that is where we met, yeah, in San Francisco. Were you merely one another's fans for some time after you met, or uh, as you sing in Some Enchanted Evening, uh, did somehow you know, know even then that you'd see her again and again? Met her. Uh, she came to see the show. She was an actress from, uh, she was working up in, uh, in uh, Ashland, Oregon. And uh, she came backstage, and uh, I thought she was so attractive that I said, hey, if you want to see this again, uh, give me a call. And I gave her my number, and she did call me, and she came and saw it a few times. And then one afternoon, the producer said to me, listen, we're losing Betty Rhodes, and I'm going to audition some girls this afternoon. Will you come and sit on the, the auditions? And I said, sure. And the first person to walk out to audition was Amanda. I had no idea she was a singer. Put Amanda on the line. I'd like to hear what her recollection is of that first meeting. Exactly the same way. Well, actually, I saw him before he saw me because I was sitting in the front, fourth row center when he and Bob Guillaume walked out and started to sing. And I had, I, I just wanted to crawl right down his vocal cords <laughs> the minute I heard it. I mean, I'm, I love a rich man's voice. And then when it came in such an handsome package, and he was such an astonishing singer, and it was such sexy material. And it was life, it was life changing as far as music. I'd never heard music like that, and I'd never heard anybody sing like that. And so it seemed I had to go backstage and afterwards and tell him so. And then I became a huge fan, and then I wound up auditioning for the show. And I know you two performed together in Sondheim, Sweeney Todd, and A Little Night Music. Does working with a spouse make a show more complicated or more enjoyable? Well, you know, when you're working with someone as good as him, it's wonderful on a professional level. And doing night music with him was bliss. Because, you know, spending you know, days in three-quarter time, your heart could not be happier. But when we did Sweeney, and George, I think, is the best Sweeney Todd that's ever been, I had to keep telling him, do not bring him home with you. George, you write on the CD jacket that it took years of persuasion by Amanda and Michelle Broman <laughs> to get you to make, uh, to make one. Why the wait? Uh, you know, it just wasn't my bailiwick. Uh, my thing was theater. Amanda had done, you know, she has her own record company and she had done, and she's a, you know, as you well know, she's, I think she's probably the best lyricist 
in the world. And uh, I, I just felt like that wasn't my turf, so to speak. But the more I started to think about it, the more I, I sort of gave in, you know, and I went into the studio and I started recording, and then I brought the stuff home the first day, and I went, oh, oh, this is awful. The first batch of songs were things from shows you'd done, and what was the organizing principle of the selections that finally ended up on the CD? It was about, you know, where I am in my life and what I wanted to say, what I what I felt about life and love, pretty much. Uh, that... that um, a couple of my male friends have said that the, the album is is uh, courageous. I don't think it's courageous, but they, they sort of feel that way, that, that uh, I make myself vulnerable. Stage and screen veteran George Ball's first solo CD is Think of Me, uh, out now from LML Music on iTunes, Amazon, and other retailers. Ball, wife Amanda McBroom, and music director Michelle Broomman perform at 8.30 this Tuesday evening, July 29th, at the Catalina Jazz Club on Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, and on October 8th and 14th at the 54 Below Supper Club in New York. These golden years I'll spend with you. From September Song, and this has been For Your Ears Only.